In this video, we will develop a method to tell different oxidizers apart. It will come in handy if you are curious about the composition of your firewood. Or you wanted to explore the pyro science by creating some green flames at home. Let's find out. This is all the oxidizers we will test today. All of them are white powders, so it's difficult to tell them apart by their appearances. The first test is spot test. We'll add concentrated hydrochloric acid to each sample. Watch carefully what will happen. Only the samples on the left generated a yellow color. They are potassium chlorate KClO3, sodium chlorate NaClO3, and sodium bromate NaBrO3. The samples on the right did not react to this test. The second test is indigo carmine test. In each test tube, I dissolved a small sample of each oxidizer in distilled water. Then a few drops of 20% sulfuric acid was added to each test tube, followed by the addition of a few drops of indigo carmine solution. You can see, a color change is already happening with the sodium bromate sample. Now, we will add a small amount of saturated sodium meter bisulfite solution into each sample. The blue color of indigo carmine has quickly faded in the first and second test tubes. Here is the final result of the indigo carmine test. So far, the spot test and the indigo carmine test can successfully separate chlorates and bromates from perchlorates and nitrates. But we still haven't separated perchlorates and nitrates yet. The next test, which is called methylene blue test, will come in handy. Into each test tube, several drops of methylene blue solution was carefully added. Ammonium perchlorate forms a beautiful purple precipitate with methylene blue immediately. Potassium perchlorate will also form a purple precipitate, although it's a little slower. None of the other samples will react with methylene blue. This is the final result. Only perchlorates will form a purple precipitate with methylene blue. So we have successfully differentiated all